In this video, we'll go over all the different ways to update your product variations. Here in the Variations tab, you'll see a high-level overview of your selected listings and any variations they may have. From this view, you're able to edit variation and their respective prices, quantities, SKUs, barcode, shipping information, and linked photos. At the top of the page, you'll see two boxes, Choose Profile and Add Variation. We cover variation profiles much more in depth in its own video, so we'll just overlook it for now. If we go ahead and click Add Variation, we can make our first variant. Let's choose size and enter the respective measurements of these products. From here, we can choose to enter another variation. In this case, we'll do color. Finally, you can add one final variant to your listings. Let's go with material. It's important to note that, unlike other functions, changing the variations from the bulk editor will override any pre-existing variations. With our core variations set, let's head over to the price tab. Here, you can bulk edit the price, compare at price, and cost per item. You can edit them all together or one at a time by checking these respective checkboxes. Clicking the drop-down menu, you can see the different ways we can adjust the prices. For simplicity's sake, we'll assume that the price is $20, the CIP is $30, and CPI is $10. If we wanted to increase the cost of all of these figures across the board, we can do so by reselecting all of them and using the increase by function. With pricing set, let's move on to quantity. Before we can adjust the quantities of these products, we need to choose which products we'd like to track the inventory of. This can be done using these checkboxes right here. With our product selected, we can use the drop down menu to adjust our quantities in the same way as price. For simplicity's sake, we'll say we have 30 of every single variation. Moving on to the SKU tab and using the functions from this drop-down menu, we can edit any pre-existing SKUs or change them entirely. Let's use tote bag as our base and edit each SKU to reflect their respective variations. Keep in mind, this function will make all the SKUs the same for all listings. If you'd like to fine tune the specific SKUs for your products and their variations, this can be done from the SKU section in the sidebar. From the barcode tab, you can assign these products a UPC or a barcode. In the shipping tab, you can input important mailing information for these variants. Clicking this checkbox allows us to apply these edits to all of our listings. Let's assume all of these totes weigh the same amount and are made in the US. HS codes are linked to a standardized index. If you know the applicable HS code, you can type it in here. If not, you can search for it by describing what your product is. Once all of these listings look good, go ahead and hit apply to update these listings and save these changes in Bella. If we do a quick scroll, you'll see all of our selected listings now have the same variations. You're also able to make individual edits from this view. By clicking into any of these listings, you can make the necessary adjustments before moving on. You can also select the linked photos assigned to each of these variants. This step sets up your listing, so when a buyer clicks on a variant, they'll see the appropriate image. To set a linked photo, simply click the corresponding image over here on the right for the respective variant. It's important to note that due to the nature of this edit, this must be done individually. Now that everything is set, it's time to save these changes to Shopify. Go ahead and click Sync Updates to send these edits to your shop. Once the sync finishes, all of these variants will now be live on your Shopify site.